show, as promised. That was an amazing conference, but we're not wasting any time. We're jumping right into it. Uh, we're going to show live exclusive gameplay of The Division 2. Yeah. I have with me Matthias Carlson. Uh, Matthias Carlson, right? Producer. Matthias Carlson, yes. Uh, and um, Christian Panner, uh, game director and producer, respectively. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Yeah, excited? Super excited. Yeah. Amazing. Well, congrats on the exciting reveal at the Microsoft conference and obviously the amazing news during the UB conference. Yeah. So uh, today, to our left, we've got Yannick Moshko, com dev on The Division 2, and three other devs from the massive development team. They'll be showing a four-player co-op um, tackling a uh, control uh, post. And uh, Yannick will be walking us through a little bit uh, into his strategy. But first of all, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, what are we going to see here? Well, th this is uh, first of all actually the the E3 demo that we're showcasing here at E3. Right? So people can play this yes. at the LAC, yes. at the Ubisoft. If you're in LA and you're going to E3, you can play what they're playing right now. So that's, that's awesome. Really cool. So this is a tiny little slice of the world. Mm -hmm. the in Division Two, right? And this is actually they're on their way towards that same crash site that we saw in. Right, the um, Marks of Creek, yeah. Yeah, the crash of the Air Force One. Exactly. Except right now, uh, it's happening at a different entry point than what was shown at the Microsoft conference. Am I right? Exactly. Yeah. And um, and so obviously the big reveal was the setting, Washington D.C., uh, capital city of America. Uh, uh, Christian, I want to ask you, what was the reason behind that? Can you tell us a bit more? Yes, absolutely. We we were very excited to showcase that yesterday in our reveal and uh, to show more, of course, today. Um, we had uh, multiple options, uh, we, we investigated multiple options, uh, but for us, uh, Washington DC felt like the natural choice uh, for two obvious reasons. One, of course, is the seat of power in the US, mm -hmm. and second, it's also the home of the headquarters of the division. Right, the HQ of the division agents, Absolutely. Right? That's awesome, and I can see there is no more snow nor ice. Can you tell us a little more about uh, really the timeline from the division to the division two? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Was uh, in Washington DC, we are now in the middle of the summer, seven months after the events in uh, New York City. So uh, this, the summer, the season, allow us to, to showcase a vibrant city where nature is now, uh, nature is now taking uh, over the city. It's beautiful. Hey, Yannick, can you do just like a pan? Oh, I guess you're in action right now, but just like the pan of the, of the city here. I mean, obviously, it's, it's beautiful um, in its own way. It's got character. <laughs> um, uh, Yannick, why don't you tell us a bit more on how you uh, plan to tackle uh, your playthrough? Try to you know spread around actually, so you know we can have a bit of a tactical approach to things and not just like face tank. Uh, <laughs> so that's uh, we'll see how that plays out. I think we should pay extra attention. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And, Please, and, and just Please judge him. Don't no judge pressure. me. I've been judged for my hand wave already <laughs> earlier. So. Um, okay. So Matthias, uh, Christian, I, I played some of the division. Uh, I haven't played hundreds of hours, like the thousands of players out there. Um, if there was a few things you could say about the division two that new players should know, uh, what would you say? The list is long. I mean, we're uh, we're very excited, both as gamers at the office and as devs, right? Of all the things we refined, we continued from the division one. Uh, from the combat to refining the RPG. Right. So there's yeah. a lot of that, but also a lot of new things. So I think where they are right now, mm -hmm. the open world is one of them. Uh, it's, first of all, 20% bigger than, oh, wow. than the first game in New York. And it's very, very faithfully recreated, almost a one-to-one -one, uh, with the actual that, actual DC, right? That's amazing. And, uh, and, and, and sorry to cut you off, but uh, Christian, you, uh, you mentioned, so you guys chose Washington DC. I'm curious, did uh, the team take any trips there to kind of uh, really uh, get an authentic recreation of Washington DC? Absolutely. We had multiple trips after we chose that, this setting, and uh, we met with uh, different uh, architects from the city, with urban explorers, with artists from uh, local artists oh, to awesome. make sure that everything, uh, you know, it's uh, looking so, beautiful in, in the game. So people living in Washington DC can kind of uh, walk around and try to find their, their homes? Absolutely. <laughs> Although this <laughs> is an interpretation of uh, Washington, our interpretation of Washington DC is going right. to be a bit uh, <laughs> more... Uh, Let's say with na more nature into it. Yeah, absolutely. But but then also th this this open world in the Division Two is very much alive. We we put a lot of love, sweat, and effort into right. uh, creating this living world system where uh, 
not just the enemy factions of the world spread out in different areas, right, but also the civilians that you're fighting to help and protect. They're all doing things in the open world dynamically. Oh, that's awesome. So, so they're, they're acting on, you know, needs for resources and goals of what they're trying to achieve, not least to control these key strategic locations like this uh, control point here by the, by the crash site. This creates a lot of movement and uh, right. activity and ultimately things for you to do as a player and surprise. Right. Okay. You don't know what's going to happen around the next one. Absolutely. A lot of a lot of gameplay opportunities nice. for the player to kind of pick and choose exactly what it is that they want to do. Um, and so right now, uh, they have reached Yannick the control the point, I, I, I take it. How yes. are you doing there, Yannick? Uh, that's fine. We are kind of, you know, we all enter from the same area actually. We just try to uh, <laughs> rush into it and uh, we are pushing our way through. So far, it's fine, but we have the tank coming now, so... <laughs> oh, well, good luck with that. Um, Matthias, uh, so what faction are they uh, playing against right now? They're playing against a faction called the True Sons. Uh, nasty, nasty people. Nasty people that, yeah. they, that they should get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so, um, I know another uh, big reveal, big new feature that um, uh, was mentioned during the Ubisoft conference are the specializations, right? right? Uh, can you tell me a little more about that? Specialization is really a adds a new extra layer and dimension to endgame, where you've been you've been going on this incredible journey through through the game, through you know the leveling game, the campaign. You've been growing both power and capability. Right. You know you've been getting new skills, mods for those skills, weapons and gear, etc. When you get to endgame, you're presented with a choice of how do you really truly want to specialize. Right. The first choice is the signature weapons that we saw in the conference, right? And right, and I think it's important to, to note, I think, uh, that uh, these specializations, they're not like roles that a player kind of sticks to. They no. can kind of choose to grow with the skill tree, am I right? Absolutely. Each one of them is, is a progression track in itself. It's not just a signature weapon. And this signature weapon is important to note. It sits on top of the rest of your toolbox. You're not right. changing something out. You're gaining more things. Right. And, and then, uh, very much along the lines of the, the design philosophy that we have, you're growing capability so you can progress one specialization all the way mm -hmm. then the next one and the next one and then, and then you become the ultimate exactly. player exactly <laughs> you, you get full flexibility to, to, to and you're gonna level. need to become that because we also announced today that for the first time in a division game we have raids oh, yeah, which are right. absolutely incredible uh, challenges that's and if you are not prepared for it absolutely it? it's up to a player co-op and you need to be prepared for that it's gonna be very hard to, to tackle that challenge that is very cool uh yannick how are we doing here uh, <laughs> like that. I'm like just that? blowing stuff up with my uh, grenade launcher. Have you been so, downed yet? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Yannick, you're playing the uh, demolition um, special sp specialization, am I right? Yes, can yes. You, demolition can you show us uh, what, um, what's uh, signature weapon you've got equipped there? Yeah, I got that. Uh, woo, I got that nice, uh, nice grenade launcher here. Uh, and so I get to make a lot of very nice explosions. <laughs> <laughs> you get to blow shit up. Yeah, like that. <laughs> And uh, our other uh, massive developers here, um, uh, I believe, are playing uh, Survivalist and Sharpshooter, am I right? That's correct. Um, I don't know if we can get the player, to, uh, the audience, to see the skill set of the other specialists. I believe that's the Sharpshooter, am I right? That's correct, yeah. So, so the, uh, the demolitionist that Jank is playing has the, the great grenade launcher, which is all about, you know, radius, controlling yeah. an area, creating mayhem, yeah. flushing you know, enemies out of cover, getting several of them in the blast at the same time, etc. Absolutely. Whereas the, uh, the sharpshooter has this super powerful sniper rifle, mm -hmm. 50 cal, that can penetrate several targets. So you, you can find you know, your angles and line them up, and this, this uh, feature that we have uh, very prevalently in the sure. on the enemy market, sure. the weak points right, right. that are associated with the enemy's special abilities. Oh, it's great. You can help all of those coming in and out. Of, Looks course. like Yannick actually well, did it. He, he captured did. the cap the control you point. You did it! Congratulations. Yay, congrats. That's surprising, I'll have to awesome. say. It is surprising. I feel like uh, <laughs> he didn't do as good during the rehearsals, but uh, I feel like the pressure <laughs> has cost him to up his game. <laughs> um, all right, so if, uh, well, I think we're, we're done taking over this uh, control point now. Uh, Yannick, why don't you come join us over here? Let's, uh, let's talk about this. We did it! <laughs> we, we did, did it! it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so that was not too ridiculous, but it's okay. Um, well, now that uh, you're here, I think we've got a free pod. Uh, well, is there like another player that can uh, that you think can fill? Yeah, I think you guys want to keep playing, right? You want to play more of it? Yes. I see. I see the. Yeah. All right. 
So yeah, we happen to have a Think Panda just here, uh, who I think would be a great fit to, uh, to play the division. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm great. How was the Very conference excited. from inside? It was amazing. Yeah. Did you like what you saw with the division? Oh my god, there's so much to look forward to. Are you excited to great. play the division too? Yes, so excited. I cannot wait. It's going to be the first time you play it. So. Yes, I hope I do well. Right. I, I we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank All you. right, so I'll ask, let's jump right in then. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. The Make us proud. Show right. us what you got. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Yannick, so tell me, uh, how do you think you did? Uh, I think my team did great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they did all the work and you just like, <laughs> stood there watching? They did all the you. work and I was basically just like trying to <laughs> not look too ridiculous. So Amazing. That's, uh, well, Yannick, so as obviously Comdev, uh, you were Comdev on The Division yes. and now Comdev on The Division 2, you've played hundreds of hours, much more than me, uh, of The Division. So playing The Division 2, what can you tell me about that experience? Uh, what's, what's great with playing The Division 2 is that, as you said, I played a lot of hours of uh, Division 1 and like, you know, 6 or 700 hours of that game, which, you know, for Damn. our community is like, <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not so bad. Uh, but still, uh, and playing the Division 2, what I really love is that uh, it really feels like a Division experience. It really feels like I'm playing the Division. I directly know the controls. I directly know, you know, how to, uh, how to move around and how to uh, handle it. But it feels very fresh. There are mm -hmm. so many changes, so many small things, so many new things. Uh, new skills, the signature weapons, the, the, even the open spaces, the way to approach combat with, you know, like the 360 and everything. It's just, uh, yeah, it feels like a very completely fresh new experience. That's awesome. Um, if, there was a, if there was one or two things that you'd say was the most requested in the division that you could say maybe coming to the Division 2, is there anything you talk about that? I think, I think Specializations is something that uh, is going to that like division players, like experienced division players, are going to love uh, because it's it's really directly uh, fulfilling that fantasy of like I really want to go in that kind of role and right. I want to like grow more and more into it, especially in end game and and so I think this is going to be something that division players are going to love. That's awesome. Um, so let's check in with uh, Think Pan over here. <laughs> I think uh, she she may be trying to tackle uh, the, the control oh, point in a different way. I uh, mean, it, and it's something that you can do in the division, right? Right. You right. can kind of really tackle any challenge the way that you want with the play style that that suits you. Right. And so it's important to note that what they're playing here, this is not a mission. Right. This this is just one of the many open world activities that you encounter when you're out and about exploring the world. And uh, that's another aspect of, of DC being a fantastic setting for us. That it, like for people who haven't been there, it's a very diverse city right. in terms of its different biomes and districts. Uh, we have almost jungle-like nature up around the Potomac, and then these big, wide open spaces of the mall really lends themselves to open area combat, like we saw, where we can really think about, okay, how are we going to approach this situation? Right, how to strategize exactly with like uh, your your team of exactly. football players. Or, I mean, you can go at it alone if you wanted to, you can right? Play, you can play everything in the division, yeah. uh, if that's, you so will. That's so awesome. I mean, uh, Yannick, I think we've got some uh, yeah, questions from the community. We, yeah, we've got a couple of questions. We have uh, XX inside XX, uh, oh. who's asking <laughs> us, uh, is the DZ coming back? Absolutely, we're going to have Dark Zone in the Division 2. It's going to be a revised version of the Dark Zone and it's going to be ready at launch. Nice. Revised, in nice. As in absolutely fantastic. As in <laughs> the best Dark Zone ever. 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 All right. Uh, we also have a session who's asking uh, when does the beta start and how to sign up to it? What we try to do with the beta is that as long uh, um, when we get closer to the launch, we want to be very, very prepared. And uh, so closer to, to March 15, we're going we're gonna to be able to give you more details about how, uh, when we're going to start the actual uh, beta plan. OK, but you can sign up now. You can sign up now, right? Exactly. Thedivision.com slash beta. Register now. You're such a pro. You're so good. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, what kind of presents you guys have at uh, E3 this year? You've got uh, the booth, the Ubisoft booth, yeah, where people can play the demo that we're showing right now. Um, and I believe Com Devs have some live streams uh, on the Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Yes, we're going to start our live streams tomorrow. We are going to be streaming for like two days, a uh, total of like 14 hours of live stream. We're going to be showing uh, more of the demo. We're going to be sitting down with some of you guys, showing people from the team, uh, showing people from the community. 
we have a lot of things uh, coming. Amazing. And um, and so you, you mentioned a close beta. People can register right now. Uh, uh, where is it that they can, uh, they can register? Their website? I will say that again. It's a, do, yeah. you, do your thing. Television.com slash beta. Register now to have a guarantee place in the beta that we're going to beta program that we're going to round for the division. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian right. Pana. And, and I've got a last question. Uh, when is the division coming out? The division two. Yes, uh, Division 2 is coming out March 15, 2019. March 15, 2019. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC. Yes. Save the date. Thank you for watching, everybody. This was the post show. Uh, we showed some exclusive The Division 2 gameplay, met the devs. Thanks for spending time with us. Thank you, and have a great E3. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.